Good evening Hackology and welcome to another absolutely awesome episode. In tonight's episode we're going to be carrying on the um, rectification circuit and if you remember in the last video we looked at how to rectify our AC to DC current <coughs> single phase. Now uh, we're going to talk tonight about three phase rectification and we're going to go into uh, a little bit of detail as to what the different types are and what are their benefits and um, why we choose to use three phase if we were going to you be generating electricity. Um, so okay let's jump right in and let's take a look at the first picture. Okay single phase AC power generation. Here is a voltage time graph showing the uh, output from a single phase generator. Notice the cycle. It drops to zero for every half of the cycle. At this point there is no energy being produced. Um, so basically if we added another coil opposing the first phase we could generate 50% more power. That's pretty impressive. Okay so now if we look at the two phase power diagram you'll notice it looks a lot more healthy and if you um, notice where the voltage still drops to zero so it's much better than single phase but there's still room for improvement if we added another coil however we would be in three phase power so here's where most of the magic happens if you look at the um, graph you'll notice an improvement over the consistency of the voltage so the voltage never actually drops down to zero, so the output is always providing power. Um, it varies by about, I'd say, 5 to 10 percent, judging by the graph. Uh, we could add another set of coils to add another phase, but the maths tells us, um, and the graph also tells us, that the gain will be minimal, as it's not directly proportional. So uh, if we have a look at a four-phase power, Okay, so we added another coil, and look at what an awesome graph we have. Um, but the, the, the four-phase power, the power loss is minimal, and the voltage remains at a further consistent level. So this can be repeated as many times as you like, increasing the amount of phases, and it will help stabilise the peak voltage output. Now, I'm not uh, overly educated in alternators, but I would presume it would probably increase the load and the magnetic resistance but you would also be pulling more power out from the uh, alternator. If anybody knows that's watching the show actually, whether adding more phases will increase the ampage, uh, I'd like to know so I can let people know in a future video. Um, but as far as I'm aware, I don't think it does. Okay, so why four phase power? Why have I, why have I gone past three phase? Well, now on your screen you should have some pictures of some hard disk motors uh, and a floppy disk motor and you'll notice on the hard disk motors they have three outputs and that is because they are three phase motors and on the floppy drive you'll notice that there's a four phase output so um, basically what I did was um, I've taken these motors and I built a three phase rectifier from a hard disk motor but the voltage output was very very low because I believe these drives to be run at very high RPM and uh, minimal voltage so what I thought I'd do was take apart an old floppy disk drive and I took the motor out and soldered some cables on, you should be able to see in these pictures and then I from scrap all the parts that I've used in this bridge rectifier are found from household appliances and just by desoldering them from the circuit board so all the diodes are reclaimed, all the cables are reclaimed, the capacitors reclaimed and also the resistor and uh, sorry the resist the only two parts that aren't reclaimed are the resistor and the LED. So if you look more closely at the rectifier and I'll put a picture of the circuit diagram up there as well so you can uh, you can see what this looks like when it's symbolized in a circuit board diagram but 
this is how you construct a three phase rectifying circuit and on the black wire we have the negative DC output and you'll notice that the uh, diodes are placed with the black end facing the black wire so we know that the negative output will come from that side and then on the other side you can see the red wire and you should be able to see that the diodes are faced with the silver end facing the red wire so now the silver end is facing outwards uh, this originally was a three phase rectifier but I added an extra phase when I realised that the hard disk wasn't going to work the capacitor as well is very useful if you can find a large um, amount of microfarads and a pretty low voltage capacitor they seem to store the charge pretty well um, <clears throat> and now I'll just show you a little video of how efficient the four phase generator is but just by spinning it a few times you can see that this LED lights up we'll be going further into three phase power generation in some future videos uh, I hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode and you can understand three phase rectification and four phase rectification in fact any phase rectification you should be able to understand now and how it works it's very very simple and it's just a matter of adding a bridge a diode bridge I presume that's what it's called um, to increase the capacity of your bridge rectifier I hope you've enjoyed tonight's video anyway uh, that's been Hackology uh, have fun hacking and we'll be back soon. Peace.